have my complaints about how Excel handles dates, but one thing I love is being able to simply add or subtract a number of days from a date with a simple formula. You won't see that in Airtable, but the way that Airtable handles it might actually be better. You decide and let me know in the comments. First, a little bit of context. Working with dates in Airtable is very different than in Excel. For starters, each program has a unique behind the scenes way of storing the full date. For Excel, it's the number of days since January 1st, 1900. Why? I have no idea. If you ever copied and pasted a date in Excel and ended up with a seemingly random string of numbers, that was the number that you saw, the number of days since January 1st, 1900. To format the date in different ways in Excel, you use the date formatting dialog in the ribbon at the top. In Airtable, the behind the scenes date format looks like this, and it includes a date, a time, and the time zone. In the basic field customization dialog, you can choose a couple basic date formats. But to format a date in any possible imaginable way, use the date time format function. To do this, we'll open up a new formula field, select date time format, then pass it the date that we want to format and specify the way that we want to format it. You can see I'm making a basic month, day, year format here. We can also use date formats that aren't just different configurations of month, day, year. For example, if we use four M's, we get the name of the full month. And if we use four D's, we get the full weekday. Using a queue will tell you what quarter we're in. The full set of date format specifiers is behind me here, and I will also link it in the video description below. Finally, let's add some days to our date. So to do this, we're going to use the date add function. The date add function takes the date that you're changing, the number of units that you're adding or subtracting, and then you specify the units. So you don't need to just add days. You could add hours, seconds, months, years, whatever you want. Let's do another one and use years this time. So we'll pass the date, the number two for two years, and then years in parentheses. And there's our result. What do you think of this system? Let me know in the comments. And if this video is helpful to you, hit that subscribe button.